Now, joining us just now is Pastor Jan Paulson, president of the World Seventh-day Adventist Church. Pastor Paulson, I believe you have a message for the people of Haiti. Thank you very much. There is nothing probably that grabs our attention as much as uh, what's happened in Haiti. The scale of the suffering that has been inflicted on the nation and on the people is um, unimaginable. And uh, you really have to live in it in order to know precisely what this suffering is like. And we may ask ourselves, what can we, what can I, what can you do to help? We all want to, 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 to be able to help. But it's difficult to define precisely how we can become involved. Yes, we can all pray for the, for the, for the nation, for the people. But beyond that, I would say, when an opportunity comes to you to give, give money. Um, if you are a medical doctor with specialties that can be of service, make yourself available. But we can all give because it is important in this kind of a situation that um, both the nation and uh, the people of, of, of Haiti, and of course, all of us, we have some friends or, or, or relatives or members of our own spiritual community who were um, impacted by this enormous suffering. And so we may ask, what can I do to help? We want to be involved. We want to participate and show our sense of brotherhood with the people of Haiti. And particularly as we as a Seventh-day Adventist, I think of my own family, my own spiritual family, the Seventh-day Adventist church members in Haiti, uh, who, who uh, like all the rest of the people, have suffered so much. We just simply have to engage, become involved, tell your children about this. Help your children to, to discover, even in these tragedies, that we share humanity. We, we, when something happens anywhere in the world on this scale, we have a responsibility to them and to God and to our own Christian commitment to do something extraordinary, to become engaged in, in, in healing. Um, I think it is appropriate to ask, what does the future look like? I mean, Haiti will heal, they will recover, the people will recover. My hope and prayer is that the future for Haiti will be better than its past. That uh, this become an opportunity when out of the ashes of this, this, this suffering, an even better nation can emerge, a fairer nation, one in which uh, poverty is resolved in a more effective way than has been in the past and that the opportunities to have a good and rich life can be improved and made better for all the people of Haiti. And I want to say to, to my fellow church members in, in Haiti, your brothers and sisters around the world, they think about you, they pray for you, they want to be involved. I want you to know that they are your family. They care profoundly for what's happening to you. God bless you. Don't lose courage. Keep strong. Keep close to the Lord and the future that God gives you will be a good one. Thank you, Pastor Paulson, for those very encouraging and wise words.